I hope you all doing good. So bear me bear with me with the light situation. I've just got some new lights, and obviously, if you're not if you're new here, you can see I wear glasses. So I'm just trying to figure out how to use them the best way while wearing glasses. So if the lighting in this video is a bit off, then I'm really sorry, but I'm trying my best. You know, I've never used lights like this before, so let me off. Anyway, <laughs> if you've been to my channel before lockdown, then you'll know that Primark is literally my favorite place in the world. Honestly, not being able to go to Primark these past few months has been quite depressing. I know there's a lot bigger things going on, but a girl likes to shop. So I went in, when did I go in? Yesterday, in fact, and picked up two big bags. So I wanted to show you guys because Primark hauls seem to do the best on my channel. Plus, it's literally my favorite place ever. If you're new here, my name's Lauren. I post videos every Wednesday and Sunday. Fashion, food, bargains, you know, all the good stuff that you like in your life. So if you do enjoy my videos, please go down there, hit that subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up because Primark is back, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get into this. So first off, I thought I would show you my accessories slash... We're gonna go with the accessories. That's what we're gonna go with here. So first thing I picked up, of course, can you go wrong with a five pack of thongs from Primark? No, you can't. Don't really need to show you that close up, but you get a five pack for three pounds. Simple, easy, love that for us. Wait until you see this next thing. You are gonna be thinking, wow. I know, trainer socks. Two pounds for seven pairs. Again, can you go wrong with that? Not really, no you can't. These are all things that you have to pick up every time you go to Primark. And if you don't, like, what are you doing? Not really sure. Next thing is Oval Cosmetic Pads, 90 pence. We've got to get a pack of those. Again, every time we go in to Primark, that has to be done. Next. So I picked up one pair of shoes in this haul today. And that pair is this pair of sandals so they're black canvas here and then obviously they have the gold trim they did have these in like a nude color i already have nude sandals but i needed a pair of black and these were five pound i got them in a size six because believe it or not that's the size of my foot so yeah but how nice love those and then let's see what else we picked up so next thing i want to show you again is another my hair's getting on my nerves, get out. If you're not gonna do it properly, don't do it at all. So next thing I picked up is a little bit from the makeup section, not loads, a couple of pieces. I picked up the Wonder Lash, that's it. I don't know where I was going with that. Length Definition Lift. So again, this is the picture. I've seen a load of people get this. If it's as good as it says it is, then great. It was only three pound. I have run out of my bad girl bang. M mascara love it but 22 pound if i can get the same result from this then that's what we're gonna do see ya next thing again i picked up a just a foundation brush i'm trying out loads of different foundation brushes because you can never have too many can you and that was only one pound 50 i've not felt it so i don't know how like squidgy or not squidgy it is wow should I be scribing those things on the internet? Probably not. Anyway, one piece of jewellery I picked up were these earrings here. Really nice, like gold hoops. Slightly bigger than the ones I'm wearing, which are now discoloured, because you know when you get them from Primark, they go discoloured after a while. pound fifty. I did want a pack of... There was a pack last time I went in, a while ago, of like five or six pairs of the smaller hoops like this, which I did want... But unfortunately, they didn't have those. So I just picked up that one pair there. And then the last things of accessory makeup situation I picked up are these two lip liners. So I got Toast, which is the lipstick I normally wear. So now I've got a liner to match. And then I've also got Desert Sand, which is slightly darker. So I can use that with my Toast lip lipstick. And then today I've got on MAC Whirl lip liner and barely there or 
nearly there, no nearly there, doesn't make sense, barely there, lipstick from Primark, also sweating because, whew. Anyway, so first thing I picked up clothes wise is what I'm wearing and it's this really casual racer neck top. What I like about this one is it goes far enough out for you to wear a bra underneath, which I love because some of them come so far in like that, which also I love, but you just can't wear a bra. Some days you just want to wear a bra. It's long enough to hit the top of your jeans so you could tuck it in if you wanted to or you could just leave it as so. And again, the back, really simple, but you can't see your straps. Yes, I've still got the tag on because it's part of this haul. I got this in a large, which is a 14 to 16, and it was, I don't know how much it was. I'll tell you how much it was. And it was three pound. Can you go wrong with three pound? I don't think you can. So the motto of life is if you like something and it fits well and there's more colours, then you know what happens. You have to pick it up in more colours. So I got it also in black. Again, I got that in a large and it was £3. So I'm going to pop this on and we can talk about it. So here's the black top on. Like I said, it's exactly the same, just in black instead. You can never go wrong with black and white. That's literally what I live in. But again, I love how wide it is here. So you can wear a bra with it. But they're just so simple. You can style them with just jeans like I have with some trainers. You can throw a shirt on over the top and just have it off one shoulder. You can wear this with shorts, with skirts. The possibilities are endless with these tops. And for £3, like... Primark, you've done it again. Round of applause, round of applause. Can you see how gassed I get for Primark? Like, I'm not sure if that's alright or if it's a bit dramatic. No, it's definitely not to do dramatic. I just got these tops for £3 from Primark. As you can tell, I really miss Primark and the energy for this video is 155, to be precise. We're going to move on before we get into some... I don't know. We're just getting into nothing. Next thing I picked up was this shirt. So this is like a white, really thin linen shirt. And then I'll just show you the front. It has buttons down the thing. It has buttons down the front. And I think you probably meant to tie the front. I was planning on just wearing this either on its own, just buttoned up nice and loose with some like slim jeans or shorts or open over a shirt. So I got this in a size 16. I would have gone bigger, but they didn't have any bigger sizes. This was the biggest they did. So I got a 16 and this was 10 pounds. So let's pop this on. Okay, so here is the white shirt on. And from here... It looks really nice and cool and I really like it. However, the problem we've got is I didn't realise when I bought this that it was a tie front shirt. So that's all well and good, but the only place I would tie it up like this is holiday. So I wanted to wear it like open off the shoulder like this, but you can see where it's straight and then it just drops to tie. So I'm actually gutted because I'm going to have to take this back now and I'm really looking for a really nice white linen shirt, like I said, so I could just wear it like this. If you are into like the tie in front situation or you wanted it buttoned up and then tied, then this shirt is lovely. It's really nice, really nice and thin and airy, but unfortunately I didn't see that when I bought it. So now I'm a bit gutted and still looking for... A white linen shirt. Next thing I want to show you just while we're on to the tops and then we'll move on to all bottoms is a couple of bikini tops because can Lauren go into Primark without buying bikini tops for the holiday that was cancelled about four weeks ago? No she can't. Anyway I'll show you them and then I'll just put a try on clip of all three. It's always this blue triangle top so if you'll see my last Primark haul before lockdown months ago now then you'll know that I picked up the bottoms of this in the Manchester store but the top was nowhere to be seen so now Lauren's got the top admittedly 10 was the only size left that was remotely my size not my size I'm not size 10 at all if you're new here I'm 5 foot 11 and I'm usually like a 14 top and bottom 16 if I want to you know size up sometimes on the bottom I'm a 16 because we got those big legs However, it was either a, either a size 20, 18, 6, or a 10. 
So I'm hoping, I don't really have too much boob, but I think this might be a little bit cheeky, but tan lines will be unreal. Two pound for that one. I then picked up the same one in a black and white, because again, that's my motto, and most girls' motto, if you like it, buy it in whatever colour it's there. So I picked these both up in a 12 and they were £4 and they're actually like a multi-way bikini top. You get the straps with them. Honestly, I bought them to be bandos who like to tan line. Not me. So yeah, pick those two up and I will try them all on now and show you over this piece of clip. I don't even know. But yeah, these are the bikini tops on. Like I said, really simple, easy, and I am about minimal tan lines. So, yeah. That is all the top halves. We're now going to move on to bottom halves. And we've got a few things here. We've got some shorts, some jeans, some more shorts. So, yeah, let's do that now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have to scroll you down. And I'm going to have to just talk to you so you, without seeing anything. First thing I picked up were these jeans. So, I got these mum. What are they? Mum jeans, high waist, in a 14. So I have these jeans already in a blue. And don't get me wrong, they're a little bit tight now. But if you've seen my other Primark hauls, then you'll know I always buy the 14 anyway because I, I find that once you've worn them a few times and you've stretched them out, then they fit a lot nicer. If I got any bigger, they'd just be too big. Already my waist is too big. But really simple pair of mum jeans. Really happy with these. Again, and these were £15, and I got them in a 14, like I said. So, that's one pair of jeans. The next thing I picked up, I'll just show you jeans again, is this pair of straight crop jeans. Again, I have these in a pair, similar colour actually, with rips on the knees. However, because my thighs are so chunky, every time I bend down, the slit just goes... So now half my leg is out in one side of these jeans, which I don't mind. I think that's really cool. But also, we're going to go for just a simple pair with no rips. I got these in a 14, and these were, again, 15. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, if you're here. Quite clearly, these are not the same. Let's just tuck that in so, you know, we don't want any indecent exposure here. Quite clearly, these are not the same as the pair I've got because... They are going absolutely nowhere. I can't pull them up any further. Sorry, this is so awkward to show you. Um, didn't realise I had those button detail. Literally don't even know why I'm showing you the back because can't move at all. This was a big fail. See, let me just tilt you up because I need to talk to you. This is the thing with Primark jeans. You can get the same pair of jeans in a different colour and the size can be completely different. So don't ever anyone feel rubbish, I'm going to say is the word I'm going to use. You can, uh, don't ever feel rubbish if a pair of jeans don't fit. Honestly, from different places, I wear a 14, a 16. I've had a 12 before, don't know how that happened. But again, I'm not one of those people that goes off size. I'm trying to bend my legs, but you know. I just go off whatever fits. If it fits in a 14, great. If it doesn't wear a 16, who's gonna know? Cut out the tag, no one's gonna know. Don't cut out the tag, tell them you're wearing a 16. Tell them you're wearing an 18, don't tell anyone. It really, really doesn't matter and I don't want anyone to try on their stuff and feel like, oh, cause sometimes you try it on you like, oh, I really wanted that to be nice. It doesn't even fit, have a pot on weight, have I done this, look. At the end of the day, if it doesn't fit, get a bigger size. It really is not that deep. And I hope if you take anything from this, you take happy, positive vibes about your body. i got some big hips. i got a tiny waist, so go on for my snatch waist. i got big hips. Honestly, some of the shorts I've got next are a size 10 to 12. The slimmer ones, some of them are a size 16. Again, like I said, don't ever feel rubbish about your jeans. This is just not working for me. So what we're going to do is we're going to move on to the next thing we've got before I talk for England. And that is a pair of wide leg trousers in this polka dot style. Really lightweight again, so these are perfect for this time of year. I got these in a size 12. This was the only size left they had. And again, 
sometimes from Primark I can get a 12 if the waist is elasticated and the leg is wide again not tried these on yet so we're gonna see these might be too small they might fit perfectly so I got them in a 12 and they were eight pounds so let's pop these on and see so here are the spotty pants on the waist they're actually perfect nice and stretchy however on this bit it's not massively tight but it's a little bit tight across like the hip crotch area you can't see on here they're really really comfortable actually and i'm really gutted that they didn't have a 14 because i think a 14 would just sit here nicer it's if you could see it gives a bit of a you know that situation and it's just a little bit tight on the crotch i feel like it's suffocating a little bit but perfect length for me like i said i'm five foot eleven i could wear these with white trainers and this top and i think that'd be a really cool outfit nice and flowy on the legs perfect really apart from that bit I know they did have these in like a black and a cream colour so maybe I'll just go for the plain black unfortunately with them not having the polka dots but I would definitely recommend these pants really soft really light and airy really good for this time of year you know you can bend you can stretch you can do anything you wanna if you're doing any of these things I'm not sure you would be but yeah so we're gonna move on to some shorts now and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We've got seven pairs of shorts, ladies and gents. These are a pair of grey cycle shorts. I get all my cycle shorts in Primark for, in a size small, 10 to 12. Like I said, my waist is small and with cycle shorts, you want them to fit tight. I never wear cycle shorts without covering my bum anyway, but actually these are a lot thicker than boohoo, pretty little thing. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that they're not see-through, they are a little bit, but compared to the other places, I'm actually really impressed with Primark's quality. So, size small, and they were £2.50. You can't go wrong. They're perfect for throwing on oversized t-shirts with, or if you're just chilling in your house, or whenever you want. You can dress these up if you wanted to with a blazer and heels, and it'll still look cool. So I'll pop these on, to give you a quick show of the cycle shorts. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. But I'll do it for you anyway. So here are the shorts. I feel a bit self-conscious of this area because like I said, I always wear tops long enough. But here they are, simple grey. Like I said, I've got lights on. They're a little bit see-through, not massively. And I would wear a long top anyway, but really simple, nice. This looks so weird. Chill pair. What I'm gonna show you is this pair of like chill shorts. God, I'm sweating. So these I got in size large, which is a 14 to 16. Again, more so for the leg than the waist. I can draw these in though, they are a drawstring. So I can cinch these in and hopefully they'll be wide enough on the leg. So you know, everybody's cutting their joggers into shorts, buying these. So I've actually got these in a black, in a purple and a gray. So I'll show you each one, black being first. Here are the black shorts, so love these, nice and spacious, like I said, if I wanted to get them in really tight, then I could just do the drawstring even tighter, but I actually don't mind the fit of those anyway. Nice and long on the leg, let's just not look at my knees because I've not moisturised, but if you did feel like that was too long, you could definitely just fold up the bottom if you felt that was more flattering for you. Really simple, nice and casual. I would probably wear them down to be honest. I probably could have gone bigger on the leg, but you know, it's not the end of the world. They're nice and comfy still and I would wear those with trainers and just a top like this, just for running around again with the shirt over the top. So yes, these I got in a large and they were six pound and I'm very happy with them. Here's the lilac. I'm not as keen on these ones as I am on the black. Personally, I think I'm just more like of a darker, on the bottom purse and I think it's a lot more flattering but still these are really nice and chilled I don't know these with air force I don't know what's this bit it's this bit that's giving me but then I don't need them all the way up there do you know what I mean I'm not sure about this pair oh I wanted them to be cool but if you pull them right up then you've got this and if you pull them down then you've got this so i'm not really sure about these ones but if this is for you then again i got them a size large and they were six pound right now i've got the gray on 
again when I look in the mirror it doesn't look as bad maybe it's the lights that are making it look even worse but again I prefer these to the lilac same as others nice and fitted not nice and fitted nice and chilled nice and comfortable again I'd probably wear a t-shirt and have it dangling out the back a bit but this looks a lot worse on camera does it just look like I'm wearing chill shorts let me know down below in the comments I'd appreciate your input in that but that's the end of the chill shorts I then picked up a couple of other pairs so I got these like stone do we call that stone what we're we gonna call that ecru no is that the color not sure so anyway I got this pair of Woo! nearly paper bag waist shorts the butter button they're again oh jesus lauren they are like a linen material they also had these in black but i wasn't feeling them in black i just thought i'd try them i got these in a size 14 and they were eight pounds so let's give these a go so here we've got the et crew shorts again i don't know if it's the angle i'm looking at the camera while doing this but this bit's not looking good they're really really nice and lightweight probably a little bit see-through so i would advise wearing nude or white underwear like they're all right and they're okay but i don't love them again let me know in the comments i really need your help because this is like real time well i filmed this yesterday if you're watching on sunday i don't know but let me know I don't know if I'd ever wear these in this country because they're so short, but again, they're not that short. They are covering their bum. They're actually quite long. So maybe I would. Some white trainers in this top. I don't know. Please let me know because really you are going to help me determine whether I send these things back. Nice and spacious. Got a lot of space here with the 14. Let me know, guys. Let me know, please, because I just don't know what I'm doing otherwise. I need your help. Of shorts to try on today is this pair. So, same kind of style. I think they're exactly the same. Oh, one thing about these, no pockets. Who's still making things with no pockets? And when you are, if you're hearing this, you're definitely not hearing this, stop it. We need pockets. Everyone needs pockets. Anyway, so these are pretty much identical, except they have the pockets, and they're in this, I won't even say polka dot. I don't know really what that is. Kind of polka dot, but kind of Dalmatian at the same time. I don't know. Again, I got them in a 14 and these ones were five pounds. So let's see which we prefer out of these. I really like this color and I feel like when I'm tan that would look so nice, but I'm actually gonna wear them. They're really comfortable though. I don't know, let me know please. Here are the Dalm print, Dalmatian print, spotty, what we're gonna go for, I don't know. They've got pockets, so that's already a tick. Again, we've got the paper bag waist, nice and comfortable. You could definitely eat in these and it's not a problem. Again, they are quite long, they cover the bum. You've got about two inches or so to cover the bum at the back. Really nice and comfortable. Again, I'm not sure. I think it's just because they're so short, like, would I feel comfortable going out like this? I'm not sure if you knew here, they're my legs or something. I'm still trying to work on being confident all the time going out with them like this. But if I just had je uh, jeans, no. If I had trainers on, what do you think? Are they cool? I'm not sure. Again, let me know, please. I really appreciate all your help with all of my purchases. And then, guys, literally did all that, turned everything off. I realized I forgot to show you the one pair that I'm hoping actually really, really fit. So I have these jeans, not jeans, they're shorts. I have these shorts in black and blue already. Black I've had for years. Blue I purchased before lockdown and then I found them in a white so I get these in a size 16 like I said mix up my sizes and these were 12 pounds so I'm just going to throw these on quickly and show you can't believe I forgot them so sorry here are the white shorts so again I love these I already knew I would I was hoping that all the colors would fit the same again they cover the bum and still a bit longer and you also have space like you have space to maneuver you know when you bend your legs and they go that tight that you can't even move there is space in here i am a little bit bloated at the minute but if i lost a bit of weight or if i just wasn't bloated then here they are really like them knew i would yes so i'm sweating guys sweating so that is the end of today's haul i really hope you enjoyed i was absolutely buzzing for it because if i've said it i'm gonna say it again 
I love Primark so much. Honestly, I always, always, always wear Primark. You guys will have seen in my other videos over on my Instagram. I'm always tagging Primark. I just think the stuff is not the best quality, but there's things I've got from Primark that have lasted me years and years. So I'm happy with most stuff. Like I said, leave comments down below. Let me know what your favorite pieces were. And also let me know what you think I should do with some of these other pieces. And if you did enjoy this video, please do give it a big thumbs up. I'd love for you to subscribe. To subscribe. I'd love for you to subscribe to the Elmi fam. I really appreciate anyone that does. So thank you so much. And I'll see you next time for more videos. Bye guys. Need to